Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to look at gold, silver, uh, euro, Canadian dollar and British pound. If some of you guys were able to make money from the all the, I made five forecasts and all of five of them actually were really accurate and amazing. So if you, uh, some of you guys were able to make money then it's really amazing. If you haven't been able to join the trend in gold especially, don't worry, we are going to talk about it and we're going to see if we can fine tune a better entry. Let's have a look at uh, the gold. Now I'm of a point of concern, point of view that gold is in a bearish uh, five wave pattern and which is wave C of a longer flat correction. Wave A right over here, wave B right over here and wave C right over here. Wave C is of course definitely going to be, uh, since a, it's a wave C of a flat correction is going to be a five wave uh, price action. So out of the five wave we have already completed a wave one. I'm considering this as a leading diagonal. We have completed wave two which is a, a simple flat correction and right now we are uh, that's what I believe that we are in the early stages of wave 3. Within wave 3 we have completed wave 1, we have also completed wave 2 and right now we are in the dream uh, where our most of the electricians want to be which is wave 3 of 3. So what do we need to do? Does all the small wave structure vanishes? No, the small wave structure still exists but we need to keep in mind that we are in a 3 of 3 so a lot of price action, a strong price action is expected and that's what we are heading towards. But in order to fine tune our analysis, uh, I have decided to come uh, give it even one smaller uh, analysis as well. So uh, one, first of all, we can see when the prices fell down, we can see that the major support has prices came down, and then they got a rebound right up from over here. Let's have a look on hourly time frame. This will be much better. Yeah, there you go. So when prices fell down actually we can see that they got retested and then when prices sharply came down and we can see that the support from this area is coming back. So I'm considering that the smaller wave whatever it is, is we are definitely going to consider it as wave 1 is probably already complete right over here. If you oh, do, want, do not want to take risk, that's up to you. But I uh, managed to enter the trade right at the end, at the top, and I exited, uh, exit the trade right over here. When we saw the bounce happening, uh, the bounce was not actually a good bounce for uh, bears. So sudden drop. I was expecting that this bounce should not have happened if he was seeing strength, especially after this much of time spent. So right now I'm looking at that the price action that actually started from over here is complete. This is wave one. We can consider it as I'm not going to label by it, as, but I'll point out that this is an important point, an important wave ending right over here. Right now I'm expecting wave two be very deep. This is this is what I'm expecting right now, and uh, I'm going to consider that it's probably going to go 75%. That's my uh, that's my target for this. One. So I have exited the trade that I was in. Uh, remember that we have taken profits. So I'm going to join the trend when in, in a day or two and see what the price action is. So we can actually find the tune, uh, the entry. Lots of time it happens that, uh, and it has happened a lot to me over the trading uh, history, that a lot of time the price movement that upward has not actually finished and we have seen a deeper price movement. Is there a possibility that this price can actually go back and create another top uh, or you can make a fourth top? There is a possibility, but most probably we have completed an impulse wave and right now we are looking at a correction that should actually be taking us over there because it's wave two. So that once price is reached, uh, I I'm going to give it some time in that area. It will be another good entry point to join the trend. Can it go deeper exactly? It can go to actually 87.5% as well. So. As low as par price target is concerned, we will be able to take a look at it uh, better probably Friday morning. That will give us a better uh, look, that better estimate where the prices are heading. As far as the major trend is concerned, I'm still bearish on it. It's just for a 15 minute or an hourly time frame analysis. Remember, this is the most dangerous time frame to analyze. 15 minute and an hourly time frame is the most uh, because you cannot really predict very small time frame. At least I cannot uh, predict very uh, small time frame analysis. But it was still a good drop, a $50 drop, and I don't want to ruin the trade, so I have actually exit. Let's have a look at uh, silver. Once again, uh, we have seen a good price action in in this in silver, 
and right over here so we have seen quite a good drop on a 15 minute chart I'm looking for a correction yes I'm looking for a correction uh, correction can actually be uh, taking us to right in the middle right over here there's a possibility that we will go right over here for correction or there's a possibility that we might extend the push right over here but we are definitely definitely looking for a correction uh, reason is because if you look on your left right over here we are at a very important support level and we can already feel the resistance coming around so it's a very nice area if prices go right over here uh, in this region this will be creating a shoulder as compared to this one so this is first and there's a possibility we might see a further push up uh, prices are not expected to go beyond that point but do not be risking at that point so therefore uh, we'll for now for about a day uh, maybe one day we'll see how prices are going to act in the next 24 hours euro we have seen prices uh, exactly once again uh, you're expecting to be bear price action in last three days we have seen the bearish price action quite beautifully uh, first of all if some of you guys haven't seen uh, my outlook I'm bearish on euro on a longer period of time and uh, as I'm thinking that it will move together with gold as well downward within that bearish p uh, price movement we can see that this support line which was holding the price upward has already been broken and retested so this is a very good indication uh, does that mean that we cannot actually create a top upward uh, less likely but we still got to keep in mind there is a double top that we have actually created right over here so in uh, let's get back to 15 minute chart so I'm expecting right now that we are gonna see probably a push down uh, upward right over here in this region probably you can see there's a lot of good price movement in the corrective form it looks like that we are gonna see some correction in that regard in this area and then head downward so this is for euro Canadian dollar once again presented beautiful very beautiful price movement exactly when prices are trading right over here I forecasted that we're gonna see upward price movement and we have seen so it's quite a uh, stronger price movement so we are expecting for a correction once again and once again I'm expecting that the upward movement for now on this analysis is complete and then we are gonna see some correction it could go right over here or it could go deeper in this region both points are very important but the point important is here is that I am bullish on the chart which means I'm expecting that Canadian dollar is going to get weaker and weaker but within that trend I'm right now expecting that within that trend we're expecting a correction all right so let's have a look at British pound quickly once again very good there could be a difference in the British pound the reason is because uh, we, if you look at the flight pattern first of all on the longer time frame I'm bearish right over here and on our, in our previous analysis we were considering it is as wave A wave W or wave 1 uh, either part you're considering that the correction is wave A wave B and wave C now wave C seems too much truncated for a flat correction so is there a possibility that we could see actually something like this all the way going right over here there is a possibility so I want to be really careful especially with Br British pound and it looks like right now that we might see a new bar new top created beyond this point all right so on hourly time frame we were able to actually forecast this price movement what's expecting upward is probably uh, we are going upward and there is a probability that a high probability that we are going to create a new high this is not the case in gold silver euro and Canadian dollar so let's keep that in mind I hope most of you guys are gonna uh, take benefit uh, once you take uh, trading into account once again trading is totally different analyzing the market is totally different if you wanna bring money management of course that's your own idea uh, of keeping your losses in control just in case things go the other direction wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye